morning friends and happy Wednesday. I am certainly in the thick of the everybody's going to work traffic. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, it's 7.09 in the morning and I have got to take my car in for an oil change tire rotation and it's it's a um, little checkup you know what I mean so today was my day to come in and I have to have it there by 8 o'clock um, they're actually giving me a rental car today too um, because your girl doesn't want to sit there for three to four hours <laughs> twiddling her thumbs doing God knows what um, so yeah so we are they are supposed to give me a rental car. Um, that is what they have said. Now, they were supposed to have given me a rental car last time that I had this done, and that didn't work out. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this time they're sticking to their guns and I'm gonna get a rental car. Uh, so I'm hoping, crossing my fingers. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing that for a few hours today. Unfortunately, nothing will probably, the only thing I think that will probably be open for me to even like go walk around would be Target. So I will probably go walk around Target for a little while and then, again, just depending on the timing and everything, I think um, Home Goods, which is right across from there, well, just down the street a little bit from there, um, opens up at nine. So I can, you know, go do that, cross that off my list, um, and just kind of kill some time. I don't know what else to do, um, because, you know, <laughs> it's like, I, if there's nothing open, I want to go to Lane Bryant on my way back, um, because I need some new bras and some new panties. Um, so it's time. It's time for that. I usually try to go once a year to get new bras and stuff because um, I just like having a new bra for the for the new summertime, springtime, or whatever. Because some of my like white bras and ivory bras and stuff like that kind of get all yucky. So I, I tend to kind of like new and fresh ones for the summertime, especially if I'm going to wear like sleeveless shirts or a sundress or something like that. Um, um, and if you can see the bra strap or the bra underneath your armpit area, um, it, it tends to get all kind of yucky and, you know, nasty from like deodorant and sweat and just body dirt and all kinds of crap. Um, so, yeah. So, I think I'm going to stop by there on the way home. And then, um, I don't know what else. We shall see. But today's just going to be an out day for me. Um, not really going to be focusing on anything in the house because I can't. I didn't even make up my bed this morning because well Brian was still in it <laughs> for one um, and he um, then I we had to go do my hair and then he took a shower and then got out so we, I just didn't have time no big deal um, so I don't have anything focused on doing in the house so um, yeah but today we're gonna do this I might stop off and get a Starbucks depending on the line so yeah stick around with me today let's see what we'll, we'll see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into today we're not gonna get into any trouble I hope not anyway um, but yeah, let's uh, let's hang out together. Let's find something to do together. We'll figure it out. Alrighty, guys. So here's my little rental for the day. Um, I don't know what kind of Mercedes it is, but it is a, a different type of Mercedes. We'll figure it out later. But this is an electric Mercedes. So this is my first time actually driving an electric car. So, oh my God, where does it? It's oh, drive. Okay. So we're going to drive. <laughs> this is so weird. It's electric, so it makes, like I have, I can't even hear it. So that is just so weird to me. Like I didn't know that it even started. So how very weird. Oh my gosh. Freaking out just a little bit. But we'll figure this out because I am, I gotta be careful because <laughs> I'm freaking out. All right, for an electric car, this thing is so like, quick it's whippy and i like it i was able to actually find um oh there's wind drive okay um i was able to find the 80s channel so that's really nice i like the big screen on it too as well that's really really nice um all of the stuff is uh all touch screen um which is really nice as well something that's completely like different than mine um but for the most part everything else is pretty much the same like everything which is actually really cool. So I had to like go this way because there was a ton of traffic backed up on the other highway. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't, 
I mean, like, it's like really backed up. I think it's because of all of the arsenal, people getting on the arsenal. But yeah, this is really, this is fun and whippy. Like I said, it's um, it's an electric car, so I'm, it's very whippy. Oh, it wants me to put both my hands in the steering wheel. Ooh, I have all that stuff shut off on mine because I don't want to have to deal with it. So that is interesting. So where, oh, okay, so that road just took, takes you right through here. Interesting. First time I've ever like taken this road. So I was just very interested to see where it would take me. And now I know. How oh, cool. Alrighty. Cool. Cool. Oh, I should probably open my sunroof so I can have some sun in here. Ah, how nice is that? So all you have to do is like touch the button. It's just total tap touch everything. So that's fun. There we go. See, now I have some kind of like better light in here. Much better lighting. All righty. Fun. Okay, so I think I'm going to go to Target. And then I think I'm just going to go home because I said it's going to be about four hours. I am not going to run around for four hours and do what? I can go home and make up my bed and do a load of laundry in that time. <laughs> Alrighty, so I made it to Target, and we are just going to go, uh, this is my Target, this is the one on my side of town, I'm probably just going to go home here shortly, um, but I just wanted to kind of go in here and see, like, all the, how they've come along with their remodeling and stuff, and, uh, yeah, we'll just walk around here for a little bit, and then, um, we'll maybe go into Home Goods or something, and then we'll head home. I'm loving these hot pink, a little tumblers but I don't like the way that they feel this one doesn't feel that way but I do love these how cool I have to get Mother's Day flowers for my mom we're meeting her for lunch on Sunday so I'll wait and get them on Sunday but those are so pretty aren't they like I need some for myself <laughs> alrighty so I got my Starbucks and we are gonna shop and this part was empty when I was here last time so now it's all filled up with stuff. Ooh, so this is where all of their beauty stuff is gonna be. Hair products, all that good stuff. Nice, nice. It's so pretty. I like it. They got all that stuff there. So pretty. Yep, I like it. I've been watching way too many like Nazi movies and this reminds me of some of the prisoners in the camp so it's so sad but anyway I love the red what do you guys think I'm really like digging the red should I get the red it'd be kind of fun rolled up with a shirt underneath it and white shorts I think I'll try it I like it it's different and I like it so I was curious to see if they have the same rug that I have out on our patio and they do it's right here and they have another one down there that I could actually put down on the patio underneath the pavilion now. Ah, yes. I mean, it doesn't have to like match or anything, but I would like it to match that way it like kind of flows. And I like that and it's big. I could do that one. It says 180. I don't know if that's true or not, but. I don't know, but at least I have an idea. At least I know they have them here. These little kits are so fun too. They're just like little Hershey S'mores little kits and you can like put marshmallows in there and your little um, graham crackers and your Hershey's chocolates and you can like give this as a gift. I think that's fun for like little cookouts and stuff. See, they even have some over here too where I just might do a solid. Yeah, I think I might just do a solid and let all my pillows be like a pattern, which they're just all called black anyway, but the sides of them have this on it, so that would look nice. I have to remember that one, 180. See, it still says $180. Huh. See, I love these lanterns, $100 for that one. I think I'd like to get like that one and that one and put them together like by the fireplace once it's built. I think that'll look really cute. That might happen next year though because of the timing of everything and that it's not done yet. I kind of wanted it to be done so I could visually see it, but I do like those. Now this is where I like to be, over here in this section. Love all of these. 
see, I'm trying to find something. And I looked upstairs in my stash and I didn't find anything. So I'm kind of looking for like a, a plant like this that's really big to put in that butler's pantry area. And I think that will work. So I actually wanted to do a little something different here because um, yesterday I had just a small little thingy that I put there. Um, I found this at Target just a few minutes ago along with this, the candle, the plant, and this little stand. And I thought, well, this would be nice because it's going to add some height. It'll really cover up the plug thing. And um, so I like it like this. And um, I still have to find a picture to put in there, so I got to do that still. But I still, I like it like this. I think it looks really cute. This looks really like blah and bland. So I thought maybe I would try to find some um, like peelable, stickable wallpaper type of stuff to put back there. I think that would look really, really pretty and just kind of brighten up the area. I'm thinking just like little tiny black specks of something that's what i'm envisioning so but um for now that is how i'm gonna leave it and i like it um i obviously wanted something like this to put the kleenexes in so you couldn't see the kleenex box so it kind of just gives it a nice clean sleek look um also um our this is where we keep our watches so um that works out just well so i like that what do you guys think My car is not even ready yet, and it's 3.30. What? They said three and a half, four hours. What? So I'm, right now I'm just grateful I have a rental. <laughs> so Brian and I are getting ready to head out because he has a haircut appointment at four o'clock, and we're gonna just kinda go from there and um, either go get my car first, then come back and go get sushi, or go get sushi, then get my car and come back. Don't know yet. I guess we'll figure it all out. But we are putting the cabinet together and it's finally coming together. But, um, but he's on the phone. I don't wanna go over there right now. So I looked up the price of this car and it's $120,000. Whoa. $120,000 Mercedes. And Brian's like, why would they give somebody a $120,000 car as a loaner? I don't don't have that answer. I don't know. But, so Brian's there getting his hair cut and I'm out here just kind of playing with the gadgets and stuff on the car. And because this is an electric car, I am trying to see like what percentage, because like right there shows you the percentage of where the charge is at, and right now I'm at a 55% charge. And I'm trying to actually see, and then at 231 miles. So I'm actually trying to see like, what pers if the percentage goes down while I sit here with the engine running, cause you know, it's hot outside and I need air while I'm waiting in the car. So I'm just trying to see if the percentage goes down as far as the, um, engine percentage or the battery charge percentage. That's, I guess that's what I should say. Battery charge percentage. Um, but, oh, actually the mileage just went down. So it says 230 now. Oh, that's interesting. Why? Oh my God. Oh my God. It just parked by itself. Like it just like stopped. I mean, it just like moved and parked. What? And the park button just came on. Like it's been parked. Duh. I put it in P. Oh my God, what does that mean? <laughs> that kind of freaks me out just a little bit. Like, oh wow. But it, it, I mean, mine has the parking assist as well, as does this. Um, but it's just really interesting too to see how um, this like little screen is, or let's see, if we can go to the screen. How do I go to the screen? How do I get, oh, I know how. I, I have my phone down here. So you push like this button right here and it gets you to all of the stuff regarding, you know, 
the car wash mode, snow chains, parktronic where it parks, interior protection, steering wheel assist, which I hate that thing and I, I turned that off, and the um, line keep assist, I turned that off too because I hate that stuff. Um, I don't know what any of this other stuff means but I'm not gonna mess with it because I don't want it to do anything crazy but um, anyway you just hit the home button and it like sends you home um, and then you just can change the radio and all kinds of stuff but I like the big screen and Brian actually likes this too it's really really pretty and what is so impressive as well is like this back seat is like huge like it's a there's a lot of room back there and we opened up the trunk um, and it's, it's like a hatchback almost. So it opens up into the hatchback and it opens up the whole backseat of the car. So that's actually really interesting too. And it's kind of deep and you can put some lots of luggage in here. So that was just kind of interesting as well. So, um, and my car is still not ready and it's four o'clock. Um, what? So I'm gonna have to text the guy and be like, what the heck dude? Like. If I have to keep this overnight, I will. It's not a big deal because honestly, I don't want to drive on the other side of town now because of the traffic, so. Okay, now it's at 54% and 229 miles, so. And he hasn't texted me back regarding if my car is ready. Okay, but I have received a few like um, questions regarding the um, like pergola, or excuse me, the pavilion and um, some of the, a lot of these were like private messages I'm sure because people just don't want to get on there and ask some questions but like that that's fine but anyway they're just some um, um, DMs that I had received regarding the pergola pavilion um, so somebody had asked aren't you worried about water or when it rains outside isn't it gonna come through you know that little opening right there um, it probably will just a little bit but not much um, because the pitch of the roof is like this not like this so if it was like this over our patio then yeah the rain would come down over our into our patio yes but because the pitch is like this it's gonna run off on the sides and of course we have gutters on the back of the patio anyway so that's not gonna like bother anything and what rain does come through there it's gonna be very very little um, another um, question or concern was um, Angie isn't it blocking the view of the Sun coming in on your patio yes it is blocking the view of the Sun coming in on our patio which is perfectly fine because Alabama gets scorching hot <laughs> it gets hot and it gets so hot sometimes we couldn't sit outside on our back porch because it was so dang hot because the Sun was blaring in and it just makes it ten times hotter I went out there today and I, I don't even know the temperature oh it's 87 degrees outside today and I walked out there on the back porch where the table and stuff is at and it's so much cooler. Sorry, I didn't understand that. I hate that. It's so much cooler underneath there because of the shaded, because of the pavilions got it shaded. So that's nice. Um, I think somebody else had question, asked the question about um, why don't, why didn't you build it or isn't it too close to the house? Should it, should it have been moved out a little bit more? Should you have, you know, built it sideways the length of the patio no we didn't want to um, we wanted to build it the way we wanted to build it <laughs> and the way that we like it and because we live there um, and we are gonna be the ones using it we built it had it built to our liking that's how we built it so um, yeah and um, somebody else had said something about the houses being built in the backyard too hold on just a second Okay, so yeah, um, I knew or we knew that houses would be built back there eventually and last year when we had the guy come out who actually did the, the pavilion this year, when we had him come out, we kind of knew we were going to wait until those um, houses started being built. Um, to build the pavilion actually to give us more privacy as well. So um, we personally don't like fences so we won't be putting up a fence at all but we know that the people who probably purchased the property behind us and build a house i'm sure that they will put up a fence which is perfectly fine with us let them put up the fence um and that will give them a little bit of privacy but not much because 
it's sloped down to a hill. So um, yeah, I don't, I'm trying to see, remember what other kind of like questions or concerns or um, just feedback I was receiving. Hold on. All right, so the other question or concern was the upkeep on the um, pavilion and the wood that we used. We used cedar and cedar is good for 15 to 20 years. This is a high grade cedar so it will not require any maintenance. It will not require any staining or anything like that. It is good for 15 to 20 years. Um, so yeah now Going back to, uh, if you guys knew, followed me when we built our, or excuse me, when we built our pavilion carport in Georgia. Now that was not cedar. That was just like big, huge blocks of wood. Um, that's what we built that um, carport with. And by the time we were getting ready to move out of there, you could see the beams were bending, like they were bending. So that probably needs to re be replaced like now um so yeah that needed that required maintenance maintenance because it required staining we had to stain it all the time because it would fade but because um this is cedar it lasts for 15 or 20 years